Some of the best sail fishermen in the world tie their hooks on with the snell. Is that the strongest way? We're gonna find out right now. So there's a lot of different ways to tie the snell on. The snell is basically a uni knot over the hook. What we're doing today is the hook is in a vise and that makes it very, very easy for me to show you exactly how to tie it. I'm gonna put the line through the eye of the hook and then back through, which forms a loop over the top. I'm gonna take the tag end and I'm gonna wrap one and then back another six or seven times back, keeping the barrels right next to one another. And then I'm going to take the tag end and put it through the loop, hold on to the tag end with your Danco pliers or your fingers, and then pull the standing line to snug down the snell. So we tied the knot. Now we're going to test it. The results are in. The snell tests at 93%. The snell is not the strongest knot from the line to the hook. Each time that we broke this, it broke right inside the knot. That means that the knot is weaker than the line and that accounts for the 93% breaking strength. Many fishermen believe that the angle of pull that you get with a snell is very, very important to setting the hook properly. If you're interested in how the snell breaks in relation to all the other knots that we tie on the Tom Rowland podcast and test, I've got something for you. We've got a free knot guide where we've compiled all the test results and all the videos where you can go and see how each knot compares to one another. You can get that for free at TomRolandPodcast.com, T-O-M-R-O-W-L-A-N-D, podcast.com. Go get your free knot guide.